Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We continue our uh, we still in the part of speech, right? And then uh, for these uh, videos, uh, lessons video, we will focus on uh, conjunction. Alright, after we have discussed about preposition. Alright, the content of my presentation today will cover on first is what is the definition of conjunction. Second is uh, the type of conjunction, and we will look at uh, some exercises uh, for us to discuss uh, in this video. Okay, conjunction, uh, we can define it as a join uh, or a word that connect or conjoin the part of the sentence. Or you can say a word that connect word clauses or sentences is, is very, very uh, useful when you have uh, many ideas and you want to put in one sentence or, or in the phrases. Basically, you need conjunction uh, to do that. We have uh, actually uh, three types of uh, conjunction. Right, first is coordinating conjunction. Second is subordinating, and lastly is we call it correlative conjunction. All right, uh, correlating conjunction is very simple conjunction. Uh, usually we use a formula of fanboy, fan uh, f for for, a for n, n for nor, uh, b for but, o for or, y for yet, and s for so. And I guess this is very common. You always use this conjunction. We are going to discuss on how uh, it can be used in sentence. All right, uh, for subordinating, subordinating conjunction, usually you need uh, uh, phrases, uh, sorry, independent clause and uh, dependent clause to do this because of uh, usually uh, it will work with uh, with a conjun uh, with a, a clause clauses. Yeah, uh, for correlative, uh, when you have two ideas, for example either or or neither nor all right so either ali or abu so you use a uh, correlative when you want to correlate uh, two ideas uh, in, in one sentence we will look uh, in detail uh, each of these uh, conjunction With coordinating conjunction the the most this the most simple one uh, for conjunction we have for and nor but or yet and so all right, for here, not for uh, uh, work as a preposition, but for here mean because. Right? For example, we listen eagerly for he brought news for our family. Or you can replace for with, we listen eagerly because he brought news for our families. All right, for here in this context, when you use as conjunction means because. All right, and I think uh, most of you know how to use and when you have two uh, ideas, two things. Uh, and you want to put it in one sentence, you can say, for example, she didn't speak to anyone and nobody spoke to her. So these two things happen in the same time simultaneously. All right, and then we have nor. Okay, maybe uh, you're not uh, you're not really uh, familiar with, with the word nor. Nor means both both of these things is, cannot happen. For example, I don't expect children to be rude, nor do I expect to be disobey. All right, so uh, she. Uh, uh, usually you use no for the for the negative uh, sentences like this okay I don't expect and then do I expect to be disobeyed okay something uh, that uh, negative uh, both of uh, this sentence is negative and you put it in one sentence you use actually no all right but they rushed to the hospital but they were too late when you have uh, two contrast uh, ideas okay for example they rushed to the hospital but everything is late okay you cannot uh, uh, you have a uh, you rush but then you arrive late okay if you want to have the ideas like they rush to the hospital and they arrive you don't use but maybe you can use n all right uh, or when you have an option or alternative like i will go shopping or i will go to camping so you have two options you will use or okay for yet yet here means uh same meaning of but okay so you can use whether you want to use but or yet Right, Kelly was a convicted criminal, yet many people admire him. So again, two uh, con contrast ideas. Okay, even though uh, she is criminal, but people uh, admire him or her. All right. Okay, so uh, the last one is so I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Okay, this is actually cause. Uh, if you if if you do something, what will you do next? So you use so is actually like a, 
uh, chronology uh, thing happen uh, when you uh, write in a sentence. I was feeling hungry. When you're feeling hungry, what you do? So I made myself a sandwich. Okay. Please remember always put the conjunction in the middle of the sentence. You cannot put whether in the beginning or at the end of sentence. Alright, for example, I like coffee and then you put comma, but I don't like tea. Okay, you cannot write something like, but I don't like tea, I like coffee. Okay, because it doesn't make sense. For coordinating conjunction, you must put in the middle of the sentence or the, or the middle of two ideas. Okay, coffee and tea. I would like to remind you that when you want to use a uh, coordinating conjunction, okay, you don't need to use any comma if you join two words or phrases. Okay, for example, tea or coffee, coffee and milk. This is actually a uh, two word. Okay, you don't need any comma or maybe phrases at the beach or by the lakeside. All right, uh, phrases mean uh, the combination of word. But still, it's in, incomplete. You just use comma when uh, they are sentences, okay? Or, or, or sentences, yeah, complete sentences. Then you have to use a comma. You use a comma when you want to join a coordinating conjunction with three or more words or phrases. Uh, basically, you require a commas between elements. For example, Peanuts, comma, cookies, comma, and milk, or in the mountain, at the beach, or by the lakeside, because this is actually three, uh, three or more uh, words or phrases. Basically, you have to use comma uh, to connect all the words and phrases. You want to join two independent clause, all right? Uh, and you create a compound sentence. I, I believe that you have learned on how to uh, construct compound sentence in writing with, with uh, Madam Akmal or Madam Tahira. All right. Uh, actually, uh, it requires comma before the coordinate conjunction. For example, Tom ate all the peanuts, comma. All right. So, Phil ate the cookies. Oh, I don't care for the bitch, comma, but I enjoy a good vacation in the mountain. So, you use uh, these actually before the conjunction okay before the conjunction when you use uh, two independent clauses we need you to combine each pair of simple sentences by using appropriate conjunction we're talking about uh, coordinating conjunction all right and you are placed you are to place the comma before the conjunction. Okay, number one, Ali is smiling at me. So stop, and then I am just ignoring him. How do you combine these ideas? All right, Ali is smiling at me, comma, but I am just ignoring him. So you use but because of uh, this is actually true contrast idea, smiling and then ignore. All right, the next one. You can call directly to me or you can send email to me because this is an option or an alternative where you can actually call or you can actually send email. So basically, this is actually a two choices that you have. So you use or. All right, Maria is standing at her room. I do not want to disturb him. So what is actually conjunction or, or the coordinating conjunction that you want to use for this uh, number three, sentence number three? All right, so you use so, okay, so uh, because of, uh, you look, Maria is standing in the room and you don't want to disturb him, so you use so because it, uh, it has uh, the, the factors or uh, it, it is actually uh, correlate to each other, the first event and the second event. All right, number four, the, bio, the biotechnology industry are growing tremendously. The number of experts in our country is still few. When we have two different uh, contrast ideas, so you can use, whether you can use but or yet because it's the uh, same uh, meaning, they have the same meaning. So you can choose uh, either but or yet. The biotechnology industry are growing tremendously, but the number of experts in our country is still few. Or you can say 
the bio, biotechnology industry are growing tremendously, comma, yet the number of experts in our country is still few. Okay, what about last uh, question? Okay, Dan, Danny felt so sad and then his friend passed away last week. So you can use, okay, also have uh, two answers, whether you use, you use for or you use because. Danny felt so sad for his friend passed away last week. Or you can say, Danny felt, uh, felt so sad, comma, because his friend passed away last week. Okay, this is actually basically uh, how do you combine uh, between two two ideas in one sent and make it one sentence by using uh, what we call a coordinating conjunction and you should know which part that you have to put the, the comma or the punctuation of comma the second uh, type of uh, conjunction is subordinate conjunction which is actually the combination between uh, dependent clause and uh, independent clause what is dependent clause Okay, dependent clause means the sentence is uh, not complete and independent clause means the sentence is complete and you can understand okay without you combine with any other clauses okay we will look at example here okay there was a chaos is the first clause and then the second the second clause is after Ravi started the fighting with Ramu okay so there was a chaos is actually dependent clause because you can understand there was a chaos right uh, the chaos is happening right uh, right right now and then after ravi started the fighting miramo is very uh tergantung so we call it dependent it needs something to complete so when you combine there was a chaos after ravi started the fighting with ramu then you can understand that uh, ravi started uh, ravi start, started fighting with ramu because uh, uh, they after the there was a chaos Alright, so there are two ways to use this supporting conjunction. First, you can actually put in the middle of the sentence or of the clause. Alright, or you might put it in the beginning of the sentence. Okay, for example, after Ravi started the fighting with Ramu, and then but then you have to add comma, there was a chaos. Okay, the meaning of uh, both sentences are similar but then uh, the way you use it uh, a bit different because of first you put subordinate subordinating conjunction in the middle here all right and then uh, the second sentence you put in the in the uh, beginning so in when you use in the beginning you have to use comma but then if you put in the middle uh, in the middle you don't need any comma uh, to combine uh, this uh, sentence We need to discuss exercise here. All right, fill in the blank by using this subordinating conjunction. We have a neighbor, we have despite, we have although, we have so that, we have in order to. You can look at the dictionary what is the meaning of all these subordinating conjunction. All right, so number one, he is so generous. So, and then he is not rich. How to combine these ideas? Okay, the best answer is although. Okay, although, or you can say even though. All right when we have two contrast ideas generous but he is not rich okay two contrast ideas number two uh, succeed you must work hard what is the best answer that you can choose from this box okay in order to all right in order to succeed if you want to succeed you must work hard in order to succeed you can uh, translate in order to to uh, if okay if you want to succeed or in order to succeed you must work hard number three ali goes to school early in the morning and then he can do a group discussion with his friend so the best answer is here is okay so that here uh, what is the benefit you can get after you do something like for example you go to school early in the morning so that okay the better benefit you can get is you can do a group discussion with your friend all right his poverty and he is so generous uh poverty mean poor right and then generous is you like to donate so it's actually two different ideas how do you connect it okay you can use despite despite his poverty he is so generous but then uh, why i don't use although because it is the same thing although also uh, contrast two ideas generous and it's not which so same goes to 
uh, number four okay they are way differently that how you use despite and also although i'm going to discuss about this after uh, after this slide okay inshallah okay we finish uh, number five i am ready okay uh, although you need me it's not i think i am ready whenever you need me i guess this is a uh, quite wrong okay i am ready whenever you need me okay i guess uh, we can uh, continue on the next slide previously uh, we are going to discuss what's the difference between although or and despite okay uh, first thing first you had to know that uh, although is similar has similar meaning with even though okay although and even though is the same meaning if you translate to bahasa is walaupun begitu or walaupun all right uh, on the other context we have also despite and uh, same meaning with despite this is in spite of all right if you translate is quite sim quite a similar meaning which is walaupun ataupun you can say meskipun so we have a similar meaning but then the way it is used in sentence is very different okay we look at the first example ali is stingy although or even though he is so rich two different ideas first is uh, rich kaya tetapi dia kerekut stingy so two different idea two contrast idea secondly ali is stingy despite or you can say in spite of his richness okay is it any different between these two in term of meaning no yes no different uh, between these two but then the 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 construction of the sentence is a little bit uh, different because first if you look uh, closely ali is stingy and then he is so rich is a uh, both you need to use a complete sentence ali is stingy he is so rich both is a complete sentence ayat yang lengkap but then for this one for this part and in spite of the word that you have to use is incomplete okay first is complete and then uh, followed by incomplete like ali is stingy and then his richness okay we call it this one is noun phrase okay so after despite or in spite of is actually just noun phrase and you don't need any verb or uh, object to complete the sentence just you use a noun phrase or maybe noun or depend on the uh, suitability of the, the context of the sentence so ali is stingy in spite of his richness or ali is stingy despite his richness just uh, incomplete here and why be, why uh, it, it is incomplete because it is right way to use despite and in spite of right maybe uh, uh, some uh, matching exercise okay part a and part b make sure when you match uh, it can make uh, meaningful sentences here all right first he studies so hard what is the best uh, in from part b you can uh, match okay he studies so hard so that he can get a full scholarship okay so you use so that like i said so that if you want to show the benefit you can get if you do something all right uh, number two margaret is a girl okay who came from sabah i guess we have learned about how how to use who it is actually a, a relative a relative pronoun okay also uh, used in a conjunction okay to make a sentence Malaysia is a developing country which is famous with its multiracialism. Okay, so again we use a relative pronoun which is also a subordinating conjunction. Alright. We will discuss this matter. Alright, whenever you are free. Okay. Number five, you have to comprehend the topic before we go to the advanced one. All right, and then number six, because of the tsunami happened in the most Asia region. Okay, if you look closely of the center, we use because in the beginning. Okay, yes, you can because it is a subord it is subordinating conjunction and you will actually uh, develop complex sentence or maybe compound sentence. All right, so the best answer is uh, because of the tsunami happened in the most Asia reg uh, regions, lots of people have lost their family members and shelter okay so basically this is how you can match all right make sure when you match uh, you can uh, 
uh, you can produce the meaningful sentence okay to uh, discuss this uh, how do you complete the sentence by using appropriate independent clause or dependent clause in the uh, live class inshallah next week all right so uh, don't but you can try it uh, first before we discuss uh, uh, during class and also we will also discuss Uh, this one, uh, construct sentences by using three subordinate conjunction. You also can try first. First, in case we have as soon as, while, until, rather than, and as long as, you can actually do some research in the uh, internet. But then don't use Google Translator. First, you need to know what is the meaning of this conjunction and try to make it a sentence by combining the subordinate, sorry, uh, by, by combining the dependent and the independent clause. Uh, using this subordinating conjunction whether you want to put in the middle or in the beginning of sentence okay please use it uh, accordingly assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh